Yeah, absolutely. The then, and I was going to get the meeting notes up, but I think I'm one week off from the meeting notes. I show notes that are dated the 22nd. Yes, I've had it a second Today's link notes. The oh, there we go. Thank Zoom you. chat with the notes of today. Thank you. Okay, I'm ready to start the sharing then, or start the oh, the recording is already it's running. Al it's already so we can go ahead. So welcome everyone to uh, this week uh, infrastructure team meeting. Uh, we are the 26th of October. Um, so let me share my screen so we will, you will see the notes in real time. I can do it. I'm almost okay. Oh, that's okay. Thanks. So um, no announcement uh, today, unless I'm missing something, except uh, don't forget to register as voter for the Jenkins election and to vote. Um, just a reminder, uh, we expect you to be able to vote, to already have made a contribution. And by contribution, I mean not only code, that can be issue, help, documentation. So I let you check the Jenkins blog. Uh, the election, uh, the, all the instructions are there. It's uh, two click away from being registered as a voter. So we need people to raise their voice. So as a reminder, the deadline to nominate people is this week um, on Sunday. Um, and to register for the election, the deadline is next week. So I don't have a other announcement. Uh, I saw noted yes. in the in Jenkins release channel IRC that um, next week's LTS is a security release. And Daniel had asked for uh, asked for being more conservative about merges to the main to the master branch of the Jenkins core repository. So just be everyone be aware that because it's a security release, we'll use our, our we'll follow the security patterns. And uh, on my side, I have a personal note because I, I was responsible last week for trying to fix something to help the release, which ended uh, finishing the release late night with Vadek due to my changes. So yeah, uh, let's try not to merge anything, even if it, we have something broken to let Daniel quickly release and then we fix the service afterwards, unless it's something strictly required for him. Um, I guess you also have then to disable the weekly release. Job. Correct. That's right. So uh, disable disable weekly uh, prior to the Tuesday scheduled build. Right. Absolutely. Okay. So can you confirm that the LTS release should happen Wednesday and not Tuesday? The LTS and the weekly will both happen Wednesday. Um, and that's why we disable the weekly on Tuesday. So the, the release is announced uh, on the calendar next week. Cool, thanks. Okay, people. So let's fit. Do you do you have other announcements? That's it for me. Okay, cool. So we can go ahead. Um, we just finished uh, the upgrade of the Nginx ingress on the AKS cluster. Um, that was a not easy one. Uh, we ended up on one hour outage almost on some services, some services. Um, uh, we had a bunch of issues. Uh, half of these issues were mainly um, because we, ha we had too much elements to put on that upgrade but it was mandatory. So we were overwhelmed by the, by the amount of tasks and we ended up forgetting some tiny ones. But yeah, when you have 100 lines and you missed the last one, you missed it. And that's not an issue. Um, there are improvement in the amount of, um, let's say, Helm charts code that we have. It was hard to get to at least it's a personal opinion. There were a lot of elements and it was hard to know which one were in production, which one weren't, which part to focus on. That will be a, a nice improvement for us and an easy one in the future. 
However, that was a hard one because the mig migration path for uh, the, using the new ingress modules was not easy. We had good surprises and bad surprises. It should be okay right now. We are using the latest Nginx version, the latest ingress, and we are uh, we should be able to to upgrade Kubernetes to the next version without risking a depreciation, at least for the ingress element. Um, so thanks a lot, Hervé, for all the work you did on that one, because it was a lot. And without a test environment and without access to the secret key, you had to guess some elements. <laughs> So that's another improvement, opening access to some secrets to Hervé to make him more autonomous for the future. Uh, thanks also, Olivier, for jumping on the call today for helping us. It was uh, nice to have a third pair of eyes on your experience and your feedbacks. That helped a lot. So thanks, folks, because that one that was not an easy one. And we ended up upgrading, so that's cool. Is there any question about that upgrade? No, okay. just congrats because we delayed that upgrade for quite a long time. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Congrats. And is do you want a separate retrospective, or is it not well enough captured here that that we we go with the notes that have been captured? I, I, I think maybe a quick retrospective would be nice um, to see how we can improve in the future. Um, the work done today was, I mean, that was difficult to plan everything in advance because of the size of the team. Um, but it would be nice to identify how we can do better in the future to avoid long and at long time. Do you want to do it now or do you want to do it as a separate? Uh, I oh, think yeah. separate, se separate exercise. Sure. And, and I, at least for me, it's worked well to have a retrospective document that we then make notes in and think about it separately before we do any discussions. Yep, good idea. So we can do that asynchronously and then discuss. Okay, so I'll take care of creating that document if it's okay for everyone and to share it with everyone. Uh, so everyone will be able to put their own notes, ideas and improvement proposal. Um, while working on that port, we had some issues also caused by the plugin site. Um, so it's installed with two backends, uh, replica and one front end. Um, and the issue are related to DNS. There were a, the second replica was always in DNS error, and it's unable to resolve some DNS without any logic. So I'm, I'm just had... wondering. If, I'm just wondering if it's related to the recent let's encrypt root certificate change. I, I don't know. No, it's when... pure what... DNS issue. Okay, pure. DNS so issue. maybe there is something to let's encrypt this. I don't know. But I'm right just now, the issue... I, I, yep. I'm just wondering how 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 old that image is. So um, the image is relatively recent. It has been, uh, it's less than one month, but the base image it's built upon has not been updated since two years. So I've sent a pull request and right now I'm trying to release and I will try to deploy a version. We we will, that will be interesting to do that in Perl though. Um, it was using GT9 Alpine, which hasn't been updated since two years. Since the Alpine tag is not mentioned anymore on the GT uh, Docker Hub page, I assume they dropped the support for GT. Uh, for sure, two years ago, the running Java on Alpine Linux was a nightmare. It's better now, but I understand. So we switched back to the slim version, which is built on the open GDK8 image. It's still not ad optimum, but it will be still more recent and built on Debian. Uh, since it's DNS, we don't have formal proof that it's related to Alpine. However, Alpine 3.9 was really well known on Kubernetes area uh, to have some issues. So I've added some links. Um, so the idea is we dropped Alpine and we're going to try with this one. So that means upgrading and maybe breaking the plugin sites. So uh, we will have to, to update status Jenkins IU for that. Um, we have the Fastly port in front, so we should be okay. However, it's the backend for research, so we might break the research though. 
Where is the, that PR? I could just come find it. Docker. Uh, yes. It has been merged already. Okay, that's why I made it. Let me add the link in the, the notes right now. Yeah, if you merge the PR, then you know, I only look for open PR. Uh, there are some links. Um, so the links are NS lookups uh, from BusyBox is having word behaviors. And there is Nathaniel Coppa, uh, the main, the lead maintainer of Alpine Linux that points some efforts that has been uh, put in Alpine 3.11 that solve a bunch of the DNS issues. Okay. Um, yeah, so we th that one was uh, pretty important. Maybe we missed something, so I really hope we won't break uh, here. That means that also plugin site is not on the standard Docker image build, on the automated system that would create automated release and update everything. So we might have some work uh, on that area. Quite easy for newcomers. Yeah, but I don't think we should wait for newcomers in this case. I think we should just fix it um, and move forward, especially we if we need to build a new, the new Docker image. We have two newcomers on the room today. <laughs> you make a point. Hervé and Aditya, if you're interested, that one could be easily fixed with, with monitoring if you want. So just um, for the context, um, just for the context, I mean, work on um, automating Docker um the current image process so we have um we use idle lint um to lint uh, the core file we use a data to update i mean we have quite a lot of automation in place the only thing we need to do is to update the jenkins file so we use the new process because on that image at, at the at this stage uh, we are just i think running um manual commands so it should be pretty straightforward to build to automatically build um, new Docker images each time we modify the Git repository. I've added the link on the notes to the existing documentation, which is let's say uh, eighty percent complete. And I'm <clears throat> I'm also adding an example for anyone who is interested. Um, I should use the correct link. Example on, okay. So that's all on plugin sites. Do you have any question or thing not clear on that topic? Um, just one thing regarding the plugin site, we may have mm -hmm. to create a repository on the GitHub. I'm not sure if we already have one. Or rename the existing one. Do we already oh, have the, one? Oh, Docker, Jenkins CI. Oh, yeah, yeah Docker Jenkins CI hub. infra slash uh, plugin site. Okay, so we already have one. Then that's yep. perfect. Or upgrading as it might outage. Okay, on the topic of the AWS cost management, um, I need to add the two, two screenshots I took this morning that I already shared uh, internally because it's cloud based port. Um, we saw a decrease on the daily costs on the AWS account, uh, which is uh, vi quite visible. We cannot be 100% sure it's a, a causality of the IMM label uh, thing. It might be uh, related to just less activity on CI Jenkins IO, uh, but it's the good direction. So let's continue. At least we are decreasing the cost. <laughs> Um, next step will be work. We should work uh, this week on using spot instances for both uh, agent VM and uh, EKS cluster as we said uh, last week. So that are, that are the next priority step after doing REST Nginx. Um, and we have the DigitalOcean port. Did you have any feedbacks, Olivier, on DigitalOcean? Okay. Um, wish we might want to escalate with Kevin. I don't know if he's, uh, <clears throat> if he's still involved on in that part or not. Um, another, we should also send a, a ping reminder since it has been one week by email. Uh, I would take care of that if it's okay for you. 
Um, a note about the transition of the cloud bees to CDF account so we can apply credits. Um, it's now also the top priority. So I'm currently trying to get all the emails that uh, that were taken by Oleg, Mark, and Olivier to take uh, care of that subject. Uh, so it's still work in progress. I will try to report next week. Isn't the first transition from one CloudBees account to another CloudBees account? So that, uh, so that yes. we make them separate, the separation of separation of the two? Yeah, uh, yes, I just uh, I just want to get all the elements that has, that were shared because not everyone was involved in all the parts. I'm trying to aggregate everyone and share that to, to all of you to prepare a plan that will be shared so ah. anyone can take over if needed because the, the, there were too much subject between the internal CloudBees uh, issues and uh, email exchanges with Amazon, CloudBees and CDF. So that's why I just want to be sure we don't miss it because the risk is um, if we have an account which is not related to credit card that can afford the payment, which is 10K per month, right, as for today, that means uh, stopping trusted, uh, PKG, and a bunch of other machines. So the outage could be quite important. Right, right. That would be disastrous. Yeah. Exactly. I don't know how much time before not paying you can do on AWS, but yeah, just want to be sure. That yeah, or how much money, we, right? we, we don't we don't we don't want to try. Right. That is that is not an experiment we want to perform. <laughs> um okay, issue triage. We should have done that, but with the ingress nginx that took more time than expected, we had to delay. So the idea is um uh, continuing the effort, especially uh, Olivia has a bunch of issues that might be either closed or uh, taken over by someone else or stop working on. Um, we started something, but uh, we need to go ahead uh, with Hervé uh, on using the, we try to create a project on GitHub. Um, we did some experiments. I propose that we report on that next week time to continue the experiment because it's too young on my on advice. The goal will be to have an aggregation, to have a kind of dashboard that will be partly automated because uh, you cannot do that fully on Jira. And yeah, it, it's really hard to choose between two tools and it's infra only related. That could help to keep track for a given subject of all the issues and pull requests that we have, because right now we cannot do that on Jenkins. And there is no easy way to use it, to do it. And the last object is CI Jenkins IO. There were an issue with the Azure VM plugin since a few days, uh, since the last time, uh, since the IMEM, since we applied the IMEM part. Uh, the reason is that there were a a bug on the Azure VM plugins that has been fixed, I assume, during the weekend by team. Um, so it was working. It fixed the issues with the configuration of code. So OK for, no, for us, no outage. However, if you had to use the UI to save the configuration on the cloud agent, you were greeted with an angry Jenkins. So team fixed the plugin. And since um, we, uh, he helped me yesterday, and we updated all the plugins on CI Jenkins IO, which ended up, it worked. So it has been updated and everything is up to date to recent version. So that's all for me. Do you have other notes or topics that you want to speak about to share? Okay, sounds good. That was quite a lot of topic in two days work. So congratulations. Yes. <laughs> I, I know that Hervé deserve uh, to take a nap between the, the children, short night related. <laughs> and the long days, you will deserve a long nap. Then so if it's okay for everyone, you can stop recording and close the meeting. See you next Tuesday.